Hello there. Today we are going to be painting the Praetorian God. So let's hop into this slush paint tutorial. Okay guys, so I've already went ahead and put this Kazakin together. I'm going to make him a sniper, so that's why he has a bigger scope and stuff. The head I'm going to use, a little controversial. I had a World War One German kit, and you know, I know they don't really use... Obviously they don't have these helmets, but this is the closest I have. But I think it'll be fun to have like, I don't know, just a different style. You know, he's smoking a pipe. And I just got some other little bits here. A little entrenching tool and a pistol holder. So now I'm just going to glue it together and get some putty and then put that head together. So, And you should end up with something like this. So we're halfway there. So the next thing to do is just to prime him white. Just kidding. Actually, I primed him black. And then I dry or basically painted his whole body white. And the white I used, I didn't care how neat it was because we're going to be going over it. I just used this, this is a cheap white, went over it. But the first thing we're going to do is pick out his pants. And the color we're going to use is this. And there we are. Pick out his belt and his pants. Next thing we're gonna do is pick out all the black, which is his boots and his gun. The black we're going to use this. And there we are. So now it's time for the next thing is the red coat. And the red we're going to use is this. And there we are. Now he's starting to come together. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is clean up that white. So I'm gonna go over it with this. And here we are. So I picked out the little shovel handle and the gloves 
for the gloves, I used this. And for the axe hand, or shovel handle, shovel handle, I just used that. But the next thing to do is to pick out the silvery bits on the gun and on the power pack. And we're going to use this. And here we are. I went ahead and picked out the blue right there on this little light. I picked out his pipe. The next thing to do is to highlight his red coat. And we're going to use this. And here we are. I've just put the base coat on the face. If you guys want to know how I do my faces, I did make a great video on my channel, so go look and find it. I will not show you how to do it here, but this is pretty much him all painted up and based. The next thing to do really is to put a wash over him. And we're going to switch over to Old Bilabo. This. So here he is, now he is all dirty and grimy, like he's been in the field for some ages. I know their armor is supposed to be pristine and well kept, but I'm not that much of a fan of pristine and well kept, I like the worn and used look. So this is him so far. Obviously his face is not done, but we will get on with that. And again, if you guys want to see how I do my faces, please go look on my channel. But this, while this is drying, after that is dry, I'm going to clear coat him and then we'll start doing the base. And here we are. I went ahead and put some decals on him. So now really the next thing to do is just to put a paint that turn little base. And we're going to use these. I can show you show myself, that is pretty much it for this video. The Praetorian God is the best God. Yes, I do say so myself. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informational and helpful if you're into that type of thing. But without further ado, I am Tarman. As you can see, I try to do wacky things for my videos. This is not a Praetorian Guard uniform.
as you can tell, this is actually a British Rifleman uniform from 1850. So without further ado, please like and subscribe only if you want to. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little kit bash paint tutorial thingy I did here. But without further ado, please enjoy this little montage.